Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. So today we have part two of a three-part series about an office suite uh, WPS. Now this is the Linux version and I just want to point out a few things and clarify a few things. There were a few comments uh, pertaining to WPS and it's um, and it's something that uh, I understand why I believe um, there was some confusion as far as the um, Linux version and the commercial Windows version. So WPS has two teams. They have a large team working for the commercial Windows Android version and then they have a small, uh, I believe, nine-person team for the WPS Office for Linux. And so if you'll go to WPS-community.org uh, that page is all about the uh, Linux development side of things and from there you go to development and you can then go to github and you will see the repository and I'm not logged into github to uh, go into details here but um, everything's listed and so you have uh, prerequisites the directory structure the translation resources so uh, just wanted to point that out um, and I don't believe there's any type of um, uh, pay or ads or anything in the uh, Linux version so or I haven't discovered any so far now as I said it's a small team compared to the uh, Windows development team and so because of that um, well there's two reasons uh, why I donated uh, I donated because they are a small team and there and if you simply simply click on donate there you can donate via pay, PayPal uh, so I like what they're doing and uh, so far the software even in alpha stage has been very stable but I haven't used it for a tremendously long time but anyway so I donated because they're a small development team I like what they're doing and then the other reason is is currently in the Linux version they do not offer open document format now they translate everything over to the Microsoft format or their own format but you know uh, like many of you I would like to see an open document format uh, as you see in LibreOffice which is another fantastic um, office suite so um, just wanted to kind of clarify all that get that out of the way there was also some mention of you know malware and that kind of thing and uh, really with everything on the Linux side being open and kind of out there my concern for malware is is um, is very small but you have to make that decision for yourself. So with that all said, we're going to jump into uh, the WPS version of PowerPoint and they call that their version presentation. Now, most of you out there are going to be very familiar with PowerPoint. Uh, if you were to poll the business world, I think you would find between 85 and 97 percent of businesses have a person who has or multiple people who have used PowerPoint extensively it's been around a long time it's one of Microsoft's key products and so um, I just want to go through and show the illustrate the similarities of this office product and how closely it resembles uh, PowerPoint not only in form but also in function and capability so we'll step through here we'll go ahead and kick off as you see just like in their their version of Word WPS has a, uh, a version called Writer there is an extensive list of templates now these templates are online okay so if you saw a template and they're categorized over here on the left so let's go into business and we'll choose geography now uh, you have the option of sliding through and seeing the various templates some have up to 11 12 pages so some are fairly large but if this is a template you decide you want it you could go ahead and download that template and you see the download progress here and BAM we are presented with that template now it is resident on our system 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, launch into some things here. And the goal is, uh, my goal is not to create a lovely PowerPoint that I'm you know, wanting to share with the world. My goal is simply to illustrate that the WPS team has done something, I think, really, really smart in that they've taken the Microsoft ribbon design and implemented that into their office product. Now it is so similar that even though I haven't used their version of PowerPoint more than a few times, I immediately know where to go because of my use of PowerPoint over the years. And so that muscle memory has, has been extremely helpful here and the functions that I have found uh, as I've explored this are also just uncannily similar to uh, what you'll find in PowerPoint. And that is key and I think it's important to stress because if you are a new user to Linux and you're like myself, you, you, you like your office software to be resident on your system not in the cloud. And believe me, I've tried just about every cloud version of office software out there and some of it does an okay job, but again, I like to have this resident. Then this is something I want you to be aware of, to know about, and um, you know you can try it. It's it's free, so um, versus hundreds of dollars. So let's go in and 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 get to work here on this lovely PowerPoint. We're going to go in. We've got a text box here, so we're going to do a couple things just to illustrate um, all the similarities. I'm going to right click on this text box, and we're going to go ahead and give this a shape fill. And if you'll notice that drop down there looks very similar to what you would see um, in PowerPoint down to gradient or texture okay patterns um, so for the sake of this PowerPoint we're going to go in and give it a uh, just kind of a gray background and we'll go ahead and give it a shape outline and again um, just eerily similar uh, we'll give it an outline but that line is not heavy enough so as you see, and again, very familiar, we'll give that a three-point line. Now this is PowerPoint. This is not a, a Word doc that we're creating. So let's go in and add um, an action. Well, excuse me. You could add an action from a custom animation. You could add action, no problem. I just wanted to point out custom animation. So we're going to go down and choose, after right-clicking on the text box, we're going to choose custom animation. And immediately you have a window that uh, pops open from the right. You could minimize that. And now we could go in and add an effect. So let's add an entrance. Uh, we'll have a fly in. And uh, once the effect has applied, then you have some options that pop up here. So that was from the bottom. And I'm going to have that fly in uh, from the left. All right. And once that's completed, then you have an option where you can go in and change the speed of that. And we'll change that to fast. All right. So again, whole purpose here is just to illustrate how easy uh, and how um, just user intuitive it is, and how the muscle. I, I immediately, as I'm using this, and I, maybe this is hard to describe in video, but as I'm using this, I immediately, without even thinking about it, know where to go to do what I want to do um, with this presentation that I'm creating. I know just from muscle memory that if I went to home that I could go from current slide, okay? Or if I went to slideshow, I could play this from the beginning. So let's just do that and we'll take a look at that, the animation that we added. All right, so easy to set up animations, easy to set up transitions. Um, let's go back over to home here and if you'll notice too, in the font list, I have Arial listed, and that's because I installed the Microsoft Core fonts. Let's face it, if you are you know, a Linux user, um, you're in the minority. Uh, so you may be working with someone who is a Microsoft uh, Office user, and you know, my theory there is anytime that you can create a format that is more likely than not to open up correctly in the Microsoft product, um, you know, that's good. That's what you want. 
So, you know, because my ultimate goal is to show people and to illustrate to people that you can use Linux um, just as well as you can use uh, Microsoft products uh, on the software side or Windows or uh, Mac or, um, you know, Mac software and that it's as powerful and as polished and as good as any other OS or, uh, or software group. So that's why I'm so impressed with this and I think this is one more tool in the uh, Linux box that will really be helpful to people coming from other operating systems and, and coming into Linux. So let's say we've got our presentation here and I'm going to step through just the other tabs so that you can see here on the ribbon how similar. Uh, so if we go to insert we could insert a photo, uh, shapes, a table, text box, everything that needs to be there is there believe me. Down to the little drop down here now they don't have a lot in way of uh, templates but um, but if you go into let's see background let, um, shoot where was it? oh and animations so if you go over to animations you could preview from there add a custom animation transition effects but look here very extensive fade and dissolve uh, lots of choices for wipe uh, push and cover stripe and cross and random and then with the ability to go in and create your custom animations so then we'll go to slideshow and so here you could play the slideshow from the beginning from the current slide set up the show rehearse your timings so um, we see here with the timer started add speaker notes so on and so forth now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window here because I want to point out here again the function is just it's identical to uh, PowerPoint you right click on that slide and let's say instead of a brand new slide I just want to duplicate the slide so it's that easy and I knew it was going to be there I mean I, this is not something that I pre-planned uh, these aren't notes or anything that I'm going off of as I go through this I just knew that that was going to be there um, let's go back over in, into design and, and so if we want to change our background alright we could go in and, and change the, the feel of that background uh, here they have a photo uh, we could change the transparency um, color schemes we could go in and change that completely so you know I'm just very very impressed with what they've done and and oh I'll point that out too so if you'll notice once I click on a text box you get additional tabs so you get drawing tools and text tools and those automatically pop up there's something else I want to throw out to you as well here notice when I highlight text I immediately get a pop-up with options so it you know they've they've added that so they know so the software knows okay you have selected text for a reason and it's smart enough to know alright here's here's your edit functions for text and it's popped that up right where you're working so that you don't have to go uh, to the top for anything so uh, very impressive so what I would say is up oh, let me back up One other thing we need to cover it's like Paul Harvey now you have the rest of the story so a big part of this is and you'll remember in the beginning I said that they do not have open document uh, format support and um, and that is the case here but what they do offer and what they're claiming is they have the best Microsoft compatibility of any other software now that's their claim that's not my claim um, and I you know I'm not going to take the time to try to prove or disprove that but I do want to show you that as you uh, go in your options for saving you can go into save as and you will see uh, PowerPoint Microsoft PowerPoint 97 2000 XP so that could be a presentation a presentation template or a show and then they jump up to 2007 2010 so you're covered all the way up to 2010 um, and the largest majority of uh, office users right now are in that 07 to 2010 probably 2010 uh, versions 
Now you could also save as a JPEG, PNG, TIFF file, uh, device independent bitmap, and then you have WPS with their own uh, format. So really and truly if they had open document format here, um, you know, that would just to me put this over the top, but they don't unfortunately. So again, I would say, hey, if you try this, you like it, and it's uh, you know it's something you feel led to do, then then donate donate and uh, you know maybe they can add to the Linux team, and, and we'll see that in the future. So um, again, save as you would you know title it just like you would with saving any other uh, piece of software, and we'll go back in here again. Um, file package so you can package this into a folder and you can package this into a zip file for um, you know emailing to someone uh, all the options are here that you need print print preview um, let's go into options and take a look here so you can change startup task window recently used print settings spell check and with spell check you can add custom dictionaries and they have I believe every language um, I actually found I was running my um, Archbase system and I found uh, WPS office in the Arch user repository and um, not only was the office suite in the Arch user repository but all of the language packs were in the Arch user repository as well as um, a few add-ons I don't recall what they are but at any rate if you're running Arch uh, and you have the uh, AUR enabled uh, then you'll be able to pull this up and install it that way so I was happy to see that um, if you have any questions about this feel free to send me a, a message um, you know there on YouTube or on Google Plus and I appreciate uh, you folks watching and I hope you're uh, as excited to see this kind of thing coming to Linux as I am and um, in any way we'll be doing part three which will be Excel or their version of Excel and let's see what they call that actually so that is called spreadsheets so very generic but uh, anyway so that'll be part three I saved the best for last I'm just kidding I have no way I'm not a huge Excel spreadsheet user I'm kind of basic there but again my purpose will be to step through and show you the options and features and what's available there and for those of you who live in Excel spreadsheet uh, day in day out uh, you may be able to just tell from going through some of the basic functions and things uh, whether it's something that you would want to check out also. So stay tuned for that and uh, appreciate you watching and we will check you later.